Boom. All right, cool. Appreciate you taking the time out, Stanley, for an episode of Community Voices with JD Sports to finish line. You know, um, how, how's it going? How you feeling? It's going good, man. Uh, just been in, in Florida for like the last two months. Um, you know, trying to handle the rest of the NBA season. Um, so, you know, we're we're three and zero right now in the, in the playoffs, and I think we're doing a good job with it. So, um, just trying to finish strong and, and stay focused. Yeah, cool. cool. So yeah, um, for this interview, last week we had uh, actually yesterday we had uh, Tobias Harris just talking about um, BLM and like the, the beliefs and path and what they're doing. So I appreciate you elevating the conversation of education because you know here at uh, just the finish line, you know we're trying to we put the cities together to, uh, to show our support to the community, yeah, and to show some transparency too, just for people to understand and help educate themselves on what's going on and everything just like that. So, so today you mentioned um, Rondé's school and his foundation. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so, I mean, I've known Rondé for a, a very long time, uh, I would say. You know, we've been playing, playing, playing basketball against each other for a while. Mm -hmm. And I, I know he had always mentioned he wanted to do something um, really big, um, like structurally for like for his community. Uh, I think we all have our things, and I think I, I thought a couple years ago I found out he was doing a school um, through his foundation, um, and, it, and back at back in uh, Philadelphia, uh, where he's from, and you know he's basically made a charter school to get the kids the right curriculum to get through. Yeah. Um, I would say life the right way. You know, I think um, one thing I one thing I have learned um, in myself um, coming through the school process, you don't learn. Sometimes you don't have it, depending on where you go to school at the curriculum is different, especially if, mm -hmm. if you're at a private school in the inner city, even, even difference between from, you know, from Long Beach to Fullerton to Newport Beach or Costa Mesa or at the high school. At. Um, so he's getting the kids the right curriculum to, to be knowledgeable about things that they need to be knowledgeable about. And, you know, things like, you know, police brutality and, and things like that, which are very, you know, prevalent in the world today. Um, so he starts that school, um, you know, he kind of goes in with the government, with the government, and they go half and half because it is a charter school. Um, but I think he's doing something something amazing. Um, you yeah. know, along the lights of uh, LeBron James with his school, obviously not as big, um, but it's still it's still the same thing. Still an impact. Um, yeah, still the same thing, man. So when you're doing something right, uh, I'm all for it. Cool. So you mentioned a couple of topics as far as like curriculum and things like that. So, I mean, me personally, I just feel like there should be more, you know, uh, Stories and just more history as far as like let's say like black, black and brown people in America, in America just because you know black and brown like black and brown history and cultures American history and culture. So what are your yeah. thoughts as far as like normal curriculum and it being able to integrate some more of those stories? I think it just needs to be expanded just on just on the general fact like it's not preparing the kids best for the world. Yeah. Right. And at the end of the day, black history is a part of our history. Like mm -hmm. the segregation in our country literally is a part of our history, and a part of our country. And the kids need to understand where they where we came from. So we know where we're at now. Exactly. And and for me, like I didn't really learn about this stuff. Like my mom made me go back and read Malcolm X books and made me do things um, like, you know, learning about Martin, Martin Luther King on the side. Mm -hmm. for, 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 for me to learn, like, how much my, my heritage matters. Like, I actually, like, get, can go deeper into it, knowing about, you know, abolishment of slavery or, you know, just a bunch of things. Um, and I think I don't I, – I know I wasn't really informed of it when I was in school. Yeah. So um, I know, I know once, I, once I went to modern day, um, it was it – was, there, was, there was, like, African-American studies classes where, you know, those things were highlighted, but that was at a private school. Right. So, I mean, I don't think everybody, you know, I was I was really lucky and blessed. My parents worked really hard um, to, to, be able to, put, to be able to put me through school at modern day. But I'm not I'm not sure my whole life. It wasn't like that. So, yeah, um, I just think that needs to be changed. Yeah, absolutely. Just because that helps everyone as a whole. You're talking about from like white people, you know, black people, just all types of races just understand that. This history is literally American history, just dating back to like you think about crossing the Atlantic and slavery and that's American history leading up into today. 
and what yeah. those things does, what those things, especially with, like the STEM field does, and affects you know people that look like you and I. So yeah, and then a touch back on Rondé's school. Um, so you know about his school and what you know how active he's been within the community, especially in like uh, Toronto. Well, um, well, his school, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's for it's a uh, it's not like a K through twelve. Yeah. Um, it focuses on certain certain grades, um, and he's he's all over it. He's really really active with it. Um, you know, obviously, like um, in Toronto specifically, you know, I know he does a lot of work. We have both done a lot of work with a kid at hospitals, children hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, but initially, with Rhonda, he has events throughout the year to try to raise money for this foundation, which goes directly to his school. Um, you know, I, he has comedy shows to try to raise money um, and, and, and bowling events uh, all through all through Tom. I think when he, he was in he was in Brooklyn. Um, so he, he obviously had like a bigger presence out there with it being his first year in Toronto uh, sure. this year. But he's definitely he, he's he, he guys, I would say his, his feet on the on, on the street with this one. He definitely um, is out there. Um, with with this school, with the people, with you know, Andre is one of the people that help him with the charity as well, with the school foundation. Uh, I know them two are actually in Philadelphia, actually, you know, doing their thing down in there. So, yeah, and you know, something else I like with the week is probably the, all the names you're able to put on the back. And I feel like one that's kind of like slept on is educational reform because you know that's something that it really comes down to being able to just yeah making sure like people understand and educate themselves and try to, yeah. you know, and uh, I don't, I don't mean to get too story, but I mean, that's the, that's one of the things that, you know, if you look back into kind of segregation and stuff, education was a thing that was a privilege. Yeah. Like it was something that was trying to, that was, that was being taken away from us or if not, you know, skewed. Mm -hmm. Right. So like, that's a, it's a reason why things are, were like that. It's a reason why these things are like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's the reason why things are as so. Exactly. And it's not, it's not by mistake. So these things need to be addressed um, and confronted and, and taken care of, in Absolutely. my opinion. No, you're right. Um, let's get Rondé in. Let me add. Yo, yo, what up, Jack? Look at oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's up, bro? Yo, what's going on? I ain't doing nothing, bro. Just chilling. Chilling? Yeah. Uh, appreciate you taking the time out to join us. We were just talking about, you know, all the work you've been doing with your school and foundation. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, so, you know, from the man himself, uh, what you do with the, with the school and foundation? I'll say that one more time. Uh, what's new with your foundation? What are you working on? Uh, uh, so yeah, as you know, you know, we've been, we've been focused a lot on, you know, giving back to the community and, you know, um, teaching our, and educating our youth on everything that's going on in the world and, you know, trying to make them better people, uh, right now, um, due to COVID, we had to, you know, slow down things with the school, uh, because, uh, in our cities, kids aren't going back to school, but, uh, we're looking to do, uh, partnerships with Google so, uh, kids can still get educated from home. Um, and that way they can meet other other kids from different areas. Uh, we're looking looking to you know bring Stanley on board, Kyle on board, so kids from different areas in the country can meet other kids. Like kids from LA can meet kids from Pennsylvania. Right. I just think you know being able to you know mix and mingle different ethnicities, different backgrounds, you get familiar with different people. It kind of opens your mind. So um, that's something we're working on right now. Yeah, that's cool because I feel like you know one piece that's forgotten is the social aspect of being in school and interacting with your peers and, you know, people of your age. So especially now with COVID where everything's kind of online and working off your computer, that, that social piece, which is like crucial, especially as kids get older and how to like interact with people in, the, in their adult life. You know, you being able to work with Google and have kids, you know, interact with each other, just like how we're talking right now via Zoom or Google Meet or whatever. Now that's important. 
So yeah, with Stanley, you know, he he he's super, you know, passionate about what you're doing. Uh, he connected the dots, and you know, us at JD Sports and Finish Line, we want to make a donation to the foundation. So let me pull out the checkbook. <laughs> My brother. Donate ten thousand. I uh, appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's love. That's for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Shout out to Stanley. Stan, I appreciate you, Brody. Already appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Let me get that over. You know, proud of the work you've been doing. And yeah, you know, we just want to be transparent because each week we're doing some type of donation to a charity or foundation. So, you know. A lot of things we feel like being transparent is like the best way for us to, to go about with these uh, donations. You know how someone might donate 200 million, 100 million, but no one really knows where it goes exactly. So right. with this, you know, one knows where it's going and who could uh, benefit. So, you know, kudos to you, salute to you for everything you've been doing. Same for you, family. And yeah, guys, I appreciate your time. Definitely. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. It's a blessing, brother. Thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. We got a link on uh next month. Me Definitely. And, uh, me and five we said on our birthday. Oh, you know birthday. five. That's my dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So September eleventh. Because my, okay. my birthday is the tenth and his is the sixth. So we was like, all right, let's do uh on the Friday. So okay. Up. All right. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we we probably gonna we gonna win the chip. So. Yeah, yeah, you gonna win the chip. Yeah, we gonna be here. We gonna be here for a little while. We gonna be here for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah I forgot so. about the whole bubble situation, and it's just like all the traveling and stuff like that. You guys are stuck in there, so yeah, yeah. But we'll get up once once y'all win the chip. We'll get up. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate you. Good to see you too, brother. Yeah, all right, my bro. All right, take care, fellas. All right.